Now let's move to something that I really believe, you know, abroad it's been a big thing, it's now starting to come into India and that is consoles, gaming consoles with games built in, usually retro. So Amkit has come up with one which is a very interesting one, about 100 retro games, I mean all the cool ones, Mario, Contra. Now these are games I grew up with, so I really enjoy these games. I still believe that this was a remarkable era where games really came into their own because games had to be very addictive at that time because the graphics were very, very poor. So the gaming had had to be really addictive and that's why I think a lot of effort went into keeping you hooked despite the actual graphics. Now graphics have overtaken and therefore sometimes gaming is secondary. So 100 retro games and then you can of course download a lot more from Google Play Store. Let's take a look at how this console really works. PlayStation and Xbox had us occupied for a very long time and we needed a break from all of that next gen gaming. It was then that Amket introduced their latest EvoFox Game Box, a compact Android-enabled gaming console with some new gen features and a whole lot of retro charm. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. While the unboxing experience on the Game Box is not as grand as we get to see on some high-end consoles, it is still quite wholesome. In the box, we get the console, a controller, a micro-USB cable, an HDMI cable and an air remote. Turning to the main event here, which is the console, irrespective of the real estate, Amket has managed to put in two USB ports, a TF port, an HDMI port, an Ethernet jack and even 3.5mm headphone jack. Also, the console can fit within the palm of our hand, which was refreshing since next-gen consoles cannot even fit into a dedicated cabinet. Now it's time to turn on the game box. Before we get to gaming, we decided to take a stroll down the entertainment side of things. This game box is an Android-enabled device with pretty much all the features we get to see on an Android TV. The UI is pretty much stock Android. It was easy to toggle around the menu and if you've used a smart TV before, then finding your way around it shouldn't be a problem. Since the game box is Google certified, we get to see classic features like Google Voice Assistant, which can be accessed using the mic on the Air Remote. The remote is Bluetooth enabled, which makes the motion and connectivity fluid. Moving on, there is 32 GB of internal storage on the box which we found ample for downloading applications and games from the Google Play Store. Doing away with the entertainment remote, we picked up the gaming controller and got down to business. While we can download games from the Play Store, there are over a hundred arcade and old school games already loaded in the box. We decided to save the princess first by donning the hat of Mario. Throughout our game time, the experience was lag-free and the game performed really well. Now this is a good sign because usually when arcade games are loaded on a new gen console, there are snags and glitches. Just like Mario, there are more games like Contra and Sonic Hedgehog, all of which gave us a solid punch of nostalgia. After that refreshing session of playing retro games, it was time to burn some rubber with Asphalt 8. To its credit, the quad-core Cortex A53 processor under the hood held up its own during this session. Asphalt 8 is a heavy game which usually gives high-end smartphones a hard time. Also, the Mali G31 GPU is not a powerhouse when it comes to high-performance gaming, but combined with the 4GB of RAM, this game box managed to stay afloat. But we can't forget that a good console is just half the battle won. The other half is dependent on the controller. This is where things take a downturn for the game box. Firstly, the build quality of this controller is subpar. It feels plasticky and the triggers wobble when we play with them. However, the saving grace for this joystick is that it is rechargeable and it doesn't run on batteries. Keeping our gaming hat aside now, it's time for the verdict. Amket has managed to put together a great value for money package with the Evo Fox game box. While it comes with its drawbacks, it is still a great product for kids who are not into serious gaming and adults who miss the good old days. At 8,999 rupees, the game box is a decent entertainment package.